Free building is one of the best ways to get better mechanics in Fortnite, but the question is, what should you be free building? In this video, I'm laying out a bunch of building drills and retakes that you can practice while you're free building. Challenging yourself to master all of these things will help you improve your movement, your building IQ, and just your building and editing consistency, so I definitely recommend. Even if you don't think you're gonna use all of these drills in game, still try to learn them and test yourself because that's how you grow as a player. Without further ado, let's hop into it. We're gonna start with some easy ones, but the challenge is gonna to grow really fast, so stick with me. Use these easy ones as a warm-up if they're a little too easy for you. First off is the infinite 90. You literally just build floors and ramps, but you have to position yourself on the bottom of the ramp every time you do the 90, like I'm doing on screen. Get this down till you can do it at least five times in a row, and then we'll move on to the next. Next up is the Thwifo Cone, a great way to go up layers while protecting your top. All you do is swing walls and a cone behind you, and this just blocks your entire back and top side. When placing the cone, you have to make sure you're looking at the right part of the wall. If you look too low, the cone's gonna place in the wrong spot. If you look too high, it's gonna place in the wrong spot, so make sure your crosshair placement is correct. Again, try to get five in a row and then move on to the next. Next up is just a double edit. You place a ramp, floor, and cone, and then double edit through the floor and cone. For all of these, we're just gonna say, try to get five in a row and then move on. So that'll be the last time I say it. Next up is the triple edit. It's the same as the double edit, but you just place a wall after double editing through the floor and cone. Try to mimic my crosshair placement here if you're struggling. Notice how I don't move my mouse too much when I'm double editing through, and my mouse is immediately lined up with the part of the wall that I wanna start my edit at. It's a very fluid motion, and that's how you get consistent triple edits. Next up, I want you to practice dragging cones a box away from you and then placing a wall in between. This is a good drill to do because usually when you're boxing an opponent, you wanna try to place the cones first if you can, because cones place further away than any other build. By doing this, it should help you get the muscle memory down for boxing opponents with cones first. Another cool thing that you can do with cones is place walls through the cone, just like I'm doing on screen here. This is a good thing to know because if an enemy is one layer above you, you can quickly place your walls through the cone like I'm doing on screen. That way you get some peace control on a layer above you before the enemy. This is a good thing to practice, just swing walls through your cone and then double edit through. It's a little bit tough at first, but once you get it down, it's pretty easy. Next up is another building drill. We're gonna practice editing a ramp and placing walls and just staying consistent with this. Being able to consistently do specific drills like this without messing up is crucial to getting consistent mechanics. I could literally do this for like 10 minutes straight and only mess up a few times, I swear. This next drill is similar, but it's gonna help train your mind to do optimal edits. I want you to practice doing exactly what I'm doing on screen here. Most people do a wide edit and just run in the opponent's box to take their shots. But if you can get it down doing it through a window, you'll have that right hand peek on the opponent and it'll be much better for you in the fight. Next drill is similar once again, we're just evolving your mechanics to get even more flexible. It's just like before you're editing a ramp and placing walls, but this time you're changing directions, left and right, left and right. Now just an FYI, I'm going through these really fast and it's not gonna be easy for a lot of you that are new to these drills. So hang in there, keep practicing one at a time, and eventually you'll get much more consistent really quickly. Next up, we're just gonna combine a couple of the drills. This is a triple edit into a ramp edit out the side and then repeat. These fast editing drills are gonna be a bit tougher to do on higher pings like 60 ping plus, but it's still good to practice them and try to get it down because I do know a lot of people on 60 plus ping that can do stuff like this and it's crazy. Next up, we're gonna practice edit coursing down where you flip the ramp, edit the floor, and then just go on repeat. I still need to practice this one a little bit. I'm I'm a little bit slow with it, but if you can do this full speed, you're just crazy. After you can do that one five times in a row, we're gonna combine that with one from earlier. We're gonna do triple edits up and then triple edits down. See if you can get that one five times in a row as well. Next up is a good drill to run if you're kinda new to retakes. This was the first retake I ever learned, and it's not a very good retake to use in game, but it's a good stepping stone before you learn other retakes. The way it works is you have a ramp above you and below you, and then at the top of your ramp, you place two cones. After you get those cones, you can place a ramp floor ramp out the side and then edit through the floor and you've completed it. See if you can get that one down a few times in a row. It's going to be tough at first if you're new to retakes, but it's good to learn. And once you have that down, you can move on to the next step, which is doing the faster version. In this one, when you edit through the floor after placing the ramp floor ramp, you place a wall and a cone on top and then you go out the side with another ramp floor ramp. When you edit through that floor, you place a wall, cone on top, ramp floor ramp, wall, cone on top, 
ramp floor ramp. It's just a repeat. It's a little bit tough to do. It's awkward. It's fast. Start slow with it and work your way up. Again, not a super useful retake, but a good drill to practice to improve your mechanics. In game, I literally apply all these drills here and there. You may think learning and mastering some of these is not worth your time, but trust me, it is. Next up, I just want you to practice jumping up a layer. The way you do it is you place a sideways ramp and then a floor on top. You have to jump in the perfect position to get up that layer. If you sprint, it's easier, but if you're not sprinting, you literally need to jump in the perfect spot, like slightly to the left towards the top of your ramp. Next, I want you to practice what I'm doing on screen right here. Swinging walls and a ramp above you every time you get around the corner. Getting this movement down as tight as possible is a good skill to have because if someone's holding an angle on you from above, if you can swing those walls into position fast enough, you can block their shots and potentially get some peace control on them. So just swing walls with a ramp on top and just keep going in a circle. On a similar note, if you practice swinging walls and a ramp on top, you can also flip the ramp and just do it on repeat like I'm doing on screen here. This is a really safe way to get up layers. The only thing is you gotta watch your angle because people could drop and get a side shot on you. This is a really good skill to have though, being able to flip ramps while going up layers. Another way of going up layers that's good to practice is flipping a cone while going up layers, just like I'm doing on screen. What you do is first flip your cone up and place a wall and a cone on top, and then you flip your cone and jump on top of it and you can do this on repeat. You can try practicing doing this from both sides, from the left side and the right side. I'm not very good from the right side because of my binds, but it's still good to practice for me. Now, if you're looking for the ultimate test, you should start practicing doing it with a floor and cone rather than just a cone flip. Doing this with a double edit is even better because a lot of times people will place a floor if you don't, and then you'll just end up running into their floor, which is never a good thing. So you can practice with the double edit version like I'm doing here. If you wanna retake that you can do with the cone flips beyond just the cone flip itself, you can practice doing this. First, you do a thwifo cone, which we learned at the start of the video. But when you do the thwifo cone, you land on a ramp and then you go into a cone flip. This is a super quick way to get up layers really fast. It is hard to do consistently, but if you can get it down, honestly, it's a good retake. And similar to regular cone flipping, if you can somehow do this with a floor and cone on top, you're just a G. But that would ideally be the better way to do it. Next up, we're going back to some fast editing. This is a retake I do a lot. What it is is basically a triple edit into a 180. You know, you turn the opposite way and then you triple edit up that way. This is a good drill to get down to the point where you can do it really consistently because it is a good retake to do in game. It's like a really quick and protected way to turn around and face the enemy if they're above and behind you. At this point in the video, we are getting into side jumps. First challenge is to try doing infinite side jumps in a row, where you land on top of the ramp every time you do a side jump. You have to jump in the perfect way to be able to land on top of the ramp. If you can get to the point where you're just nailing these side jumps over and over, that means you've mastered the elevated side jump. You should practice doing this three different ways. First, the way I'm showing right now, where you land facing sideways after the side jump. Then practice doing it like this, where you land on the back of the ramp facing forward. Like I'm jumping out to the right, but I'm landing towards the back of the ramp. And then you can do the same exact thing, but jumping out to the left. Getting these side jumps down, especially if you're new, is gonna be really hard. It's really just about the angle you jump off the ramp. Every time you nail it, it'll get easier and easier, trust. Side jumps are tough to get down, but literally every single fight, I probably do like 10 side jumps, so it's worth learning. To make the challenge even harder, if you want, you can practice placing walls through your cones before doing the side jump. See if you can get those three forms of side jumping down while placing walls through the cone. Definitely not easy, but once again, it is useful. By placing the walls through the cone, it protects your angle while you're doing the side jump. If someone was holding an angle where you place the wall, they wouldn't have that angle anymore. That's why I like to encourage practicing placing walls through the cone. Now the last side jump in this one is probably the most useful, is doing a sprinted elevated side jump like I'm doing on screen. You sprint off to the side, place walls while you're in the air, and then land on a ramp and floor. After you're landing, try to place high walls just to protect your angles even more, and then you can do whatever you want after, but this is a really good way to quickly get up a layer. Let's say somebody places a floor over top of you. You can sprint around it and elevated side jump and get over top of them so fast. You'll see basically every pro doing this when they play creative zone wars or going for high ground in attorney. Now there's one more thing I'm throwing in here and this one's not too tough. Practice placing a ramp in a cone, editing one corner of the cone and then looking down and placing a floor. 
and then ramp cone out the side. This is a good way to do a quick misdirection in a fight. I do this combo that I'm going to show right here, where I do that thing I just showed you, the cone flip with the floor, but then I go into a high wall side jump. It's just a good combo to have in your back pocket. I use it a lot in fights. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe learned something new. More content coming soon, so stay tuned. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.